to another plant channel. My name is Rachel. If you're new here, I'd love it if you'd take a second and click the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss anything. And if you've been here for a while, thank you. So today I wanted to share with you my planty Christmas gifts. I've got a couple of different categories. I've got kind of like fashion and fun items and then I've got some plant care items that I also received. So I'm going to start with the fashion type items and the first I'm going to show you is this necklace. I don't know if this is going to be backwards on the screen. It says Plant Mama and this necklace came from Loft. They actually had a bunch of really cool plant lady type merchandise this season and I think some of it is still available. Um, the sweatshirt that I'm going to show you next was actually available as of like two days ago. So this is a plant lady sweatshirt. And all of the letters are different plants or plant items. And I just thought this was really adorable. Now this isn't like a thick type sweatshirt like um, like a, I don't know, like the traditional one you'd think of. This is more of like a fashion one. So you could wear this. I think I'm going to wear it with green cargo pants um, for the first time anyways. But I just thought that was so cute. And then two other items that they have, have that I got are socks. So I've got this little pair here with the Monsteras on it. And then this one here with all kinds of potted plants. And I know that they do have a t-shirt with some plants on it too. I didn't get that, but they also do have that. Um, I have another pair of socks. My husband got me these and they say, what up sucker? And then they just have all kinds of little succulents on them. So that is it for the fashion-y type items. The rest of the stuff is going to be plant care, which I'm equally as excited about. So some of the stuff are products that I've used before. Some of them were new things I wanted to try. So I'm just going to, I've got a box next to me. I'm just going to grab from it and show you guys. So first, um, pesticides. These are something that if you have a large collection, you're going to have pests eventually. So it's good to have these on hand. And this is my favorite systemic um, insecticide. I will go ahead and treat all my plants with this to kind of try and prevent um, major outbreaks and I did notice some thrips on one of my plants so of course I went in and did this like right away and I've got I think it's a four pack these come on Amazon so I've got these and then my other favorite pesticide is Captain Jack's dead bug so I'm not a huge fan of neem oil I um I can get past the smell if it works but I killed a plant with it once so then I've kind of been hesitant to use it I've never had any issues with Captain Jack's dead bug. So, got a bottle of that. And then fertilizer is something I'm going through like crazy. And right now I just keep it simple. I've been doing plants for about four years or so, and this is the only one I've ever used. Um, I've had no issues. So, just the Miracle Grow indoor plant food. I just put. Um, I put two pumps of this, which is half of what they say you should use, so I dilute it. And I fertilize year-round as long as the plants are growing. I don't stop. Okay, um, I asked for some more pots, some of these clear pots from Amazon, because I had a couple of alocasias that were outgrowing. I had roots popping out all over the place, so I needed a larger size. So these are, I believe, like a five-inch type pot. But... Um, I'm sure you've heard me say before, I love these clear ones because it lets you get a better idea of when the soil is dry. You can visually see it. Um, you can also visually see the roots, so if something's going on, you might catch it quicker. And then what I do is I just put these inside of cash pots. That way I can have the pretty styled look that I like. And you can swap them out. You can, you know, trade things up if you're changing seasons and you want a basket instead of a ceramic. That way the roots are protected from sunlight and you can still have a styled look, but this is really good for the health of the plants. Now, um, the next three things I asked for are things that I have never used before for my plants, but I wanted to try. So the first are these dusting gloves and these came in Amazon on a two pack. 
they're just like a microfiber dusting glove and I actually don't have the second pair here with me because I used them yesterday and they worked great. So my thoughts behind this was I have a lot of plants that have a lot of leaves. So for my peace lily, my aspidistra, any of my pothos where there's a ton of leaves, um, wiping them off with a cloth is a lot harder to get into each crevice. So I just put these on and kind of went over each leaf with my thumb and it worked really well. So these already are what I wanted them to be. I will keep having these on hand. The other item is an X-Acto knife. And this I wanted to try because right now I have pruning shears or pruning scissors, whatever, and they work fine. But there's sometimes where I want to try and cut off a leaf or something that's kind of like a precise cut where my scissors are just bulky and can't get in there well to the point, point that I want them to. So I thought having like a little surgical type blade would be nice for those instances. And then last but not least, so this one was kind of like out of left field, but I'll explain as I go. I got some washable puppy pads. So I'm a carry my plants to the sink, <clears throat> water them through every single time type of waterer. And a towel, if you set it on the countertop, gets wet really fast and then everything under it gets wet too. So I have been using um, puppy pads. And that's starting to get wasteful, so I wanted to come up with a better idea, so I looked into these reusable ones. So the top of it is kind of just like a cloth absorbent material. The back is plastic, so your countertop isn't going to end up soaked. But you can set the plants on here to drip dry, and it will help kind of wick some of that moisture, the excess moisture out, protect your countertops, and then also not let water go everywhere. So this also is a two-pack. Um, this is the one I got here and I'll try and link these if they're still available I'll link them in the description box so you guys can check them out if you want but um, They also come in different sizes it looks like I got the extra small because I just wanted a little one for the countertop But I used the other one um, already and Also, I think this is something else that I'm gonna always have now in my kind of plant care arsenal so kind of weird and I know when I asked for it for Christmas, I got a lot of like weird looks, but really, really good idea for watering and it's a little bit more eco-friendly than kind of going through a puppy pad each time you water your plants. So those are the planty items that I got for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, I'll leave links for everything that is still available that I can find in the description box below. I'd love it if you take a minute to click thumbs up. Click the bell so you don't miss anything in the future. But that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.